Hey guys, so obviously my hair is disgusting right now and so I thought I would show you guys my full hair care routine I've trained my hair to just like it doesn't really get oily until day like seven or eight I thought I would show you guys my full hair care routine like my oiling my masks what I do in the shower and then how I like style my hair afterwards so I hope this helps you in any way but also just keep in mind everyone's hair is slightly different so do your own research I will be giving like tips and tricks and like things that I have learned through my hair journey take it all with a grain of salt because everyone's hair has different porosity and everyone's hair just like takes products differently so remember that my hair is probably not going to act exactly the same as your hair so do your own research but I hope that this video helps in any way or it's just entertaining to watch I always start my hair care routine with roughly five minutes of massaging my scalp. Doing this just stimulates your scalp and promotes blood circulation and also strengthens your hair follicles. If you style your hair frequently or use a lot of products, massaging your scalp also helps exfoliate and break down any product buildup in your hair. After the scalp massage, I like to brush through my hair to get out any tangles. I actually bought a bamboo brush for this step, but it didn't arrive until after I finished filming. But bamboo brushes are just more gentle on your hair and the bristles promote better blood flow. After brushing through my hair, I section off the bottom so I can oil my scalp. You don't have to section your hair, but my hair is really thick, and if I don't, the oil won't fully saturate my scalp. I use the Miele Rosemary Oil. I get it from Target. It's like $10, but you could really use any rosemary oil. Just make sure that your oil is already mixed with a carrier oil or do so yourself because pure rosemary oil is actually really strong and could result in you losing your hair. I normally section my hair three or four times and use about a half full dropper for each section. I found it's easier to put the dropper straight on your scalp and massage it in rather than putting it on your hands first. I've been consistently using the Miele hair oil once a week for the past six months and I've noticed a huge difference in the length and overall health of my hair. I feel like my hair strands are so much stronger than they used to be and I literally dye my hair like every single month. I swear this is not even sponsored, but if you were to take anything from this hair routine, I would just highly recommend this specific oil. I also did competitive cheer when I was younger, so I feel like all cheerleaders have these little side pieces that are problem areas, and so I just put extra oil there to make sure it's getting in there. But once I've oiled all the sections of my hair, I give myself another mini scalp massage, then I put this Fable and Mane hair mask on the ends of my hair. This stuff smells like sweet apple and clean air. I don't even know, but it smells so delicious. The ends of my hair have been super dry recently now that it's winter, and this hair mask just really helps rehydrate them. I also just really like this company because it's very organic, cruelty-free, vegan, and it has no silicones or parabens in their products. I swear it sounds like this is an ad for all the products I'm using, but I just put a lot of care and thought into the products I use, and so if I like them, I just really want to recommend them to you guys so that you guys can have good products too. Once I'm done oiling and putting the hair mask in my hair, I leave the product for about an hour or however long it takes me to do some chores and errands around the house. Just try not to lean your head against any sort of pillow or blanket because your hair oil will leave a little bit of a stain on any sort of fabric. Once the hour's up, I hop in the shower to wash out all of the product. I use the native shampoo and coconut and turmeric scent. I swear I will literally buy anything coconut scented. I think it smells so good. But on days that I oil my hair, I normally have to do two to three washes to make sure I get all the oil out. If you have thinner hair, you probably should only do two washes. It's just really important to get all the oil out of your hair because you don't want to irritate your scalp at all or have a really greasy looking hair. I also try not to scrub the ends of my hair and rather just let the soap run down. I saw a YouTube video about it when I was like eight years old and I've done it ever since. I don't really know if you should or shouldn't, but that's just what I do. For conditioner, I use the native sweet grass and sandalwood because they didn't have the coconut one. I try to only put conditioner on the ends of my hair because I feel like it leaves my scalp really greasy if I put it up there. I just got a red color conditioner, but I got it after this video. So right now I would be doing a hair color treatment. I use a microfiber like hair turban because my hair is red and it dyes every towel I touch. And also I think these sort of microfiber towels are good for your hair. I don't really know why though. I let my hair air dry until it's like 80% dry but like still a little bit damp. And then I use the Fable and Mane hair mist to like moisturize on top of my hair. I just kind of spray this all over and then run my fingers through it to make sure it gets all the way in. And then I use the Olaplex bonding oil. I've heard this actually isn't good for your hair, which is kind of stressing me out, so comment down below if you know anything about that and I'll literally stop using it. As for styling my hair, I use the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Conditioning Mousse. I really like this mousse because it doesn't like harden my hair, but it holds the, whatever style I put it in for like days to come. For styling my hair, I use the Revlon blow dry brush that literally everyone and their mother has. I always curl away from my face to get that sort of 70s blowout look. The most important part of doing your hair like this is to keep the curl at the end. Like blow dry it and keep that curl. Don't brush it out yet. 
I usually again section my hair into three parts and I just repeat this process in every single section until my entire head is full of these like weird looking curls. The only thing I do different for the top section is to curl in a kind of more upwards angle. This just gives me more volume than curling at like a sideways angle. But I still create the same curl and leave it there to rest for a little. As for my bangs, I curl completely horizontally and like up and away from my face. They look a little funky at first, but I swear once they settle, they look better. Once I finish curling my entire head, I flip it upside down and just shake out my hair. And this is what I'm left with. I just have to play with it for a little bit to get it the way I want, but you're just left with like a 70s kind of blowout look. This is pretty much my everyday look because it just looks really put together, but like effortless at the same time.